Hello, I'm Alison Stevenson, and today I'm getting some hands-on time with the Sony Xperia L. Now, Sony unveiled this earlier in the week, and it's currently their low-end Mark smartphone, following on the success of the Xperia Z. However, you'll notice it looks very different to the Z and doesn't have the same omnibalanced design, looking much more like the older S and P smartphones, which were, came out last year. As a result, it's actually far smaller, and measuring, measuring in at 129 by 65 by 9.7 millimeters, which makes it the thickest of the Sony phones out there at the moment. However, it's not too heavy, weighing in at just 137 grams, and it feels pretty sturdy in hand at the moment, and we're convinced of the build quality. You'll also notice it has the same software additions to the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean that Sony made for the Xperia SP and Xperia Z, meaning that as well as custom Android skins, you also get a slew of custom Sony apps, including Walkman, Album, Movies, and Sony Select. The screen is actually lowered pixel per inch density, being 4.3 inches and only having a pixel per inch density of 228, making it the lowest of all the current Sony phones. However, while looking a little bit grainier than the others, it still looks pretty good, and considering we're thinking it's going to target the low-end smartphone range, it's probably going to be a lot better than most competing devices out there. Past this, it, it, yes, the camera is powered, the, the, the L is powered by a dual core 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor and 1 gig of RAM. This is going to be the smartest phone on the market, but if the price is right, it could still prove fairly nippy in its price bracket. And thus far, going through the menus and doing a few basic tests, we haven't experienced too many issues at the moment, partially thanks to the inclusion of Project Butter in the Jelly Bean operating system, which serves to remove any chug issues that plagued earlier versions of Android. Now, it only comes with 8 gig of storage, but the handset we've looked at at the moment says that only 1 gig of that is usable. We're not sure if that's something that's on only on our demo unit and is going to be on the final release. Thus far as well, we've had a bit of a go with the 8 megapixel camera in the dark, and have to say that while it is better than certain smartphones, like for instance the Motorola Motorsmart, it's still not as good as the Sony X Xperia SP or the Xperia Z, though we haven't had a chance to really put it through its paces yet. There's currently no word on price or exactly when the phone will be released, except that it'll be at some point this year. Check back with the Slazer for a full review and hands-on of the Xperia L. I'm Alistair Stevenson. Thanks for watching.